Hey, what's up, bae? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hack your 3DS using browser hacks and menu hacks to add homebrew on your 3DS. Both of these exploits work on all models of 3DS running the latest 10.3 firmware, but make sure to check the description to see if this is still working because I'm sure Nintendo can shut it down at any time. Now, many of you may be thinking, why would you hack your 3DS? What are the benefits? Well, there's lots of awesome things you can do with homebrew installed on your 3DS. Get custom home screen themes, Pokemon 3DS hacks and randomizer, play region locked games, custom 3DS games emulators, Pokemon 3DS hacks and randomizers, and much, much more. There is no real way that this hack can harm your 3DS, but follow this tutorial at your own risk. This is going to be a complete guide on how to hack your 3DS and all the other things I previously mentioned. I worked really hard on making this tutorial clear and easy to follow, so if you find it helpful, please leave a like as it's greatly appreciated. Now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, homebrewing your 3DS is very simple and can be done on a Windows or Macintosh computer. As you can see, I am using a Macintosh computer but the process is the same with a Windows computer. To begin, take your SD card from your 3DS and put it into your computer. Then head to your favorite web browser and paste in the URL Smia's GitHub page which is linked in the description below. Once you get to this page, go ahead and download the homebrew starter kit which will be a zip file so you'll have to go ahead and extract it and get the starter folder. Once you have the starter folder, go ahead and open it and drag the files inside the starter folder into your SD card. If you have not ever had the homebrew starter kit then make sure to do this but if you have had it in the past then you don't have to do it again. Now, once you have the homebrew starter kit in your SD card, we're going to go back into our web browser and paste in the URL the link for menu hacks. Now, you're going to get to a forum post here and you're going to click here to download menu hacks. Once you do that, it's going to be a zip file again. Extract that zip file which will give you a 3DS folder. Open the 3DS folder, then open the 3DS folder inside your SD card and drag the menu hacks manager into your 3DS folder inside your SD card. Once you've done this, we are done preparing our SD card and we can go ahead and eject it and head right back into our 3DS. Once you're in your 3DS, you want to make sure that you're on the latest 10.3 firmware. Um, if you are not, then you can go ahead and update, but this only works on 10.3 as of this moment. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and press L and R to access your camera and then click on the little QR image at the bottom left so that you can scan the QR code that is on this forum post that we were just previously at. Now once you do this, it'll give you a website and head straight into your web browser. However, you can manually do this um, by following the links in the description below and putting that into your 3DS web browser, but that's a lot more difficult and I feel like doing it just as I did on screen now with the QR code is much better because it'll automatically take you to the web page you need to be at and launch homebrew for you just as you see now. This can take about 20 to 30 seconds as you're watching now, however, You'll know it worked because your screen will go crazy and directly send you to the homebrew launcher. Now, this process can be a little tedious, so that's why we decided to get menu hacks for a better homebrew exploit on 10.3. So what you want to do is scroll down until you see the menu hacks manager. Go ahead and click on that and then hit A to install and it'll begin to install the menu hacks manager on your 3DS. What this will allow you to do is each time you turn on your 3DS and hold the L button, it'll automatically take you to homebrew, which in my opinion is much easier than scanning this QR code every time you want to use homebrew. So once it's done, press A and then press B and start to exit the home menu manager. Once you do this, we can exit the homebrew as well by pressing start and a which will take us back to our home screen and from here you can turn off your 3ds and then relaunch your 3ds by holding the power button and the l button as you turn it on which once you do that you'll see that it automatically loads homebrew on your 3ds and your 3ds is now hacked with access to homebrew on 10.3 
With that being said, like I mentioned at the start of the video, there's tons of awesome things that you can do with Homebrew, like getting emulators, custom games for the 3DS, um, themes, and all of that good stuff. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, I've already made a video on that, so you can follow the link in the description below, or you can click on the screen now. As well as, I also have guides on how to randomize your Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X and Y. So if you're interested in that, same deal, follow the link in the description below or click on the card on screen now. As well as, if you'd like to generate Pokemon into your X and Y or Oras, you can watch my PK Hex tutorial by following the link in the description below or clicking on the card. Everything you need to know about homebrew is in the description. You are now homebrewed, so what you do with it is up to you, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you found this video helpful, then please hit that like button, as I truly appreciate it. And if you're new, make sure to click that subscribe button, because I make awesome tutorials like this every week. With all that being said, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.